iPhone 17 series are out now. And if you've just upgraded to iOS 26, you're in for a treat. In this video, we will show you all the ways to open those settings, how to choose the style that fits you best, some tips to make your home screen look amazing, and yes, even some advised tricks. Let's jump in. First, let's talk about where you can access the icon styles customization options. There are a few ways. One, long press on the home screen. Press and hold on any blank area. Then tap Edit or Customize. Look for the new icons, appearance, theme options. Two, using shortcuts for custom slash third-party icon packs. You can also create a shortcut for an app and then use Add to Home Screen to put a custom icon. More on that later. Okay, now once you're in the icon style settings, here are your options. Light, clear or lightly tinted icons, very airy, lets your wallpaper shine through. Great for bright wallpapers. Dark, more contrast, icons stay more visible against dark backgrounds or when you use dark mode. Clears, this is the new translucent look. Semi-transparent, glass-like effect. It reacts a bit to background, lighting, etc. If you want a sleek, modern, minimal look, this is it. Auto, switches between light and dark, or maybe clear versus dark depending on time of day or system appearance mode. Handy if you use dark mode at night. You can preview each style right away. Changing the icons will show you how they look with your wallpaper, widgets, etc. Here are some tips to get the best results. One, pick wallpapers that aren't too busy behind icons. Translucency works best when there's some contrast. Two, if using clear or liquid glass, avoid wallpapers with very similar colors to icons. You might lose visibility. Three, try matching the tint color, if the style offers tinting, to your case or to accent colors in your wallpaper or widgets. Four, Use auto mode at sunset or night if brightness slash software-based dark mode bothers you. Five, if you ever want to go back, you can always reset to default icon appearance via the same menu, no loss. If you want even more customization, use shortcuts. Create a shortcut that open app, choose your app, then in the shortcut settings, choose a custom icon or image, then add to home screen. That way you can use custom icon packs from designers. One more thing. If you ever run into iOS issues when installing betas, messing with customizations, or even want to upgrade or downgrade safely without losing your data, check out Reboot, a professional iOS system repair tool that supports one-click upgrades, downgrades, and system fixes without data loss. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss more iOS 26 tutorials, and leave a comment telling us which icon style you prefer, clear, light, dark, or auto.